Hello everybody. So it is actually the end of the day and I'm jumping on to say hello. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Blue Jay Acres. Today I did a whole lot of cooking and it was all so delicious. So we're going to go on and just jump into that real quick and I will see you at the end of the video. So today I have blueberries that need used and one of our favorite ways, we have two favorite things we like to make, blueberry muffins and blueberry pancakes. Luke requested pancakes, so I'm gonna start with some pancakes and then I will move into some blueberry muffins as well and people can have that then to snack on and for like tomorrow. So first I'm gonna just start off with some pancakes. I'm gonna make a first batch plain and then the rest I will make blueberry. Blueberry are definitely a favorite here. And then I just added some blueberries to the batter and that's the blueberry pancake. So even after canning all the oranges, we still have all these oranges down here. Plus we have some still on the table. Plus we still have all of these. I have an onion peel on here <laughs> where they were packed with onions. But I still have all of these as well. So for our drink, all I'm gonna do is make some fresh squeezed orange juice. I thought that'll go perfect with it. I don't have, you know, any kind of fancy juicers. I just use this old juicer. All right. Okay, so here is breakfast. That took about 16 oranges to do that. So that's why it's a treat. <laughs> that's like a lot of the oranges. The blueberry pancakes, the regular pancakes. All right, are you ready? Uh, if it tastes half as good as it smells upstairs. <laughs> I was, you had to use up all these blueberries. I got that box. I bought a thing on sale and then we got that box that had blueberries in it. So we had lots of blueberries. Oh, oh there's a couple extras there. Yeah, there's plenty. Plus the blueberry muffins are coming, which you love. How's your fresh squeezed orange juice? Um, tastes pretty darn good. Now, somebody who doesn't like pulp wouldn't like it. Yes, that's why Theo's got a I little cut because... I'm not a picky eater, so... Or in this case, drinker, so, you know, I don't <laughs> you like pulp. so picky. Luke will not drink orange juice at all. He does not. He does like mango V8 Fusion, but he will not drink orange juice. So, there's only five cups there. Sweet. All right, we're going to go do breakfast. I'm going to go on and mix up these blueberry muffins real quick. So, I'm going to add one and a half cups of flour. Again, I am using the self-rising, so I'm not going to add the baking powder. So just follow the directions down below if you don't have the self-rising flour. I'm going to add three-fourths cup of sugar. These are the best blueberry muffins. A half teaspoon of salt. Stir this together. I'm going to add one beaten egg. A little vanilla, a half a cup of milk, and then it calls for one third cup of oil, but instead today I wanted to try butter instead of using vegetable oil. So I'll let you know how I like it, how it turns out. I've never made it with the butter substitute. I just wanted to see how it worked. Okay, so I'm going to mix all this together. This is 
pretty thick, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more milk. blueberries real quick and I'm going to toss them with a little bit of flour that is just going to help keep them from sinking to the bottom or you can mix them in with the dry ingredients instead of the flour and then just add that stir that in there and I'm just going to spray down my muffin tins Put some of this batter in each one. I'm going to add just a little water to the empty ones to help them cook evenly. And then I need to make the topping. So the topping is just melted butter, brown sugar, and flour. And then I just go in with my fingers and kind of like a claw motion, get it all together. Definitely need more flour until I can get it good and crumbly and it's not one big chunk. I think that's good enough. And I'm gonna just sprinkle that on top. And these are the best blueberry muffins. Like I said though, I've never made them with just butter in place of the oil. I just wanted to see how that worked. Since once our cow, we are milking her, we'll have all kinds of butter try and see if I can replace some of the oil with butter. All right, these are going into the oven. Here are the blueberry muffins. Okay, now we're gonna start some lunch. So on this front burner, I'm gonna turn it on high. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. Olive oil, I'm gonna let that heat up. So I have this bag of Little Smokies that's been in the freezer and I am going to just cook this up and we're going to make it kind of Asian style. So in this oil, I'm going to add a little bit of chopped cabbage and carrots. Now I'm going to add this packet of little smokies. I'm going to add a little bit of squeezable ginger that I have in my fridge. I'm going to add a little bit of minced garlic. I'm going to add 
for this dark soy sauce that I have already open in my fridge. I'm gonna add some of this poison sauce that I already have open in my fridge. Add a little sugar. You could do maple syrup or honey. Just give it that hint of sweet. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of the sesame oil. It's toasted sesame oil. Oh, it smells so good. So these are done. I'm going to set this aside. Actually, I'm going to add some green onions in here as well. Um, they are frozen, so they'll uh, defrost, just kind of sitting in here with that. Okay, so I'm going to assemble the bowl like this with some cabbage sprinkled on top. We'll see if Charles notices. Then I'm going to put some of the meat on. I think you might notice. You won't notice the cook. And I'm going to do some cucumbers on the side like this. Top it with a few more green onions from our garden and some sesame seeds. So this is lunch today and I'll get Charles come taste test. Ooh. All right, taste test. I made it pretty. Ooh. Gotta get down in there and get everything. That's good. It's different. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. I made the little smokies kind of Asian style. I see. Yeah. What are you scoping your bowl for? I'm just looking to see what else is in there that you're not telling me. Nothing. <laughs> not that I'm picky. Would I, would I try and trick you into eating something? There's nothing. Just eat it. There's nothing. I'm waiting to see broccoli in here. There's no broccoli, I promise. The people heard. The people heard, right. There's no broccoli. It's delicious. You need to salt your cucumbers, mm. unless you want to just eat them with it. And then they'll get salty from the soy sauce, but. I think it's fine. Good. So make again? Yeah. Depending on what's <laughs> in it. <laughs> nothing in it. I'll watch the video. <laughs> then you won't see anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go eat lunch. For dessert tonight, I'm gonna make some cookie bars. So I'm gonna do one cup and two tablespoons of flour. Let me just drop more. I am using self-rising, so in the list down below you will see add some baking soda to this. I am not because I'm using self-rising flour. I'm going to add some vanilla. I'm going to add one egg and one egg yolk. I'm going to add one and a half sticks of butter. 
I'm gonna add one cup of brown sugar. Now this brown sugar, you guys, I just made myself. You just mix molasses and white sugar and it turns into a beautiful brown sugar. And a half teaspoon of salt. So I am now out of brown sugar, so I will not buy that anymore um, because I will just make my own. Okay, I'm gonna stir this together. a little funny it's two cups of flour I thought it looked a little bit low so sorry follow the directions that I write not what I say <laughs> okay, and then we're just gonna want to spray our pan I'm using a 9 by 13 and you're just gonna want to bake these on 325 until the tops are golden so probably about 20 minutes check them and then just cook them a little bit longer if needed. And that's it. This just goes in and you gotta push it all around. Charles and Ronnie are not fans of nuts in their cookies, which is why I don't do a lot of nuts in the cookies. And I'm just gonna mix those chocolate chips in, I think, a little bit better. And you just gotta really just get in and push it down. I think pretzels would be good in this as well if you want to do something like that. That's just really, it's unlimited. <laughs> you can do so much with it. So I'm going to go on and put this in the oven. All right, the cookie bars are done. Just got to let them cool off. And then we'll cut into them and let Charles do a taste test. Okay, so here are the cookie bars. And I will have Charles come taste them for you. If you can see... These are so good and they're just a fast easy way when you don't feel like making cookies these are a great substitute you're wanting cookies but don't want to stand and spoon them all out and all of that all right charles is gonna try the cookie bars you know this is a tough job i don't know good no nuts because you and ronnie don't like nuts I'm not really sure. Let me finish this one. I'll grab a couple more. <laughs> and then I'll let you know how they are. No, no, no. Dinner is next. Mm. Fair enough. <laughs> so for dinner tonight, I'm trying to use up some of these tomatoes. If you guys remember, I got a bunch of them. So we're going to make just kind of a pasta-ish dish. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just see. I'm going to just kind of wing it. So for this dish, I'm going to use some bow tie pasta. I'm going to get that started or get some water boiling to start this. We are also going to use some of these brats because if you guys recall, I've got tons of brats. So we're just going to kind of mix this whole crazy thing up. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start by putting this on high. I'm going to add some olive oil. There you go. I'm going to let that heat up. And then I'm going to add, I cut up some bell peppers that I had. I cut up some um, onion that I had. I also need to use up some of these power green mix in here. My fridge is like freezing them. I'm going to check the temperature on my fridge because some of that's getting frozen. Even. So we're just going to kind of mix everything that I need. Let me get that away from the heat. Everything is just going to be kind of a mix of, I need to use some stuff up. So I'm going to go on and start with the uh, onions and the peppers and get those in here. 
I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper. Charles has been wanting pasta lately, and I haven't made it in a while, so I said okay. Uh, also, somebody, a question was, um, how much time do I spend in the kitchen a day? And I will tell you, that varies. Uh, if I am doing a meal prep type thing for you guys, or just in general in life, or like the freezer desserts or anything like that is six to eight hours in the kitchen. Like I don't leave the kitchen all day. If I am just doing a normal day, it's anywhere between one to two and a half hours a day, uh, depending if I'm doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, like today, it took me about a half hour to make all the breakfast, the muffins and the pancakes, uh, just because the muffins have to bake. It, takes no time to throw it together but when I film and I'm filming every day for you guys it does double my time a lot of times because I have to move the camera I have to pause it I have to you know just move it to different places in the kitchen and it just takes longer um but I spent about a half hour on that lunch came together in 30 minutes but 30 minutes of that was just the rice cooking um because the actual food, the sausages and the vegetables, they came together very quickly, maybe 10 minutes. And uh, then the cookie bars, they took about 10 minutes to throw together, but then you have to wait on the cooking. But see, I'm doing other stuff while things are cooking. I'm not like just standing in the kitchen. And then tonight, this will probably take about a half hour because I gotta wait for the water to boil and to cook the noodles. So, all together, that's probably going on two hours total for all the cooking I did today of me in the kitchen or, you know, why things are cooking. So, I'm just going to go on and cut the sausage up so I can cook it in there with the onions and the peppers. Um, something I thought about doing though, and let me know if you guys would be interested, is kind of like setting a timer and making myself stay at 30 minutes to do dinner. Um, because I kind of like to do that to just make dinner go a little faster. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. Do like 30 minute dinner like series. I thought that might be fun. Um, but this, like I said, this will be a 30 minute dinner just because I have to wait on the noodles. The meat and all that should come together very quickly. Okay, I'm putting this back on the uh, stove. I'm going to add all this meat. I'm going to turn that down and just add all that meat to it. All right, here are some of those tomatoes as well. Put all this kind of together. Probably add a few more tomatoes. I think it could be a bit more. Okay, also, I want to add a little bit of garlic. I'm going to add a few more tomatoes to that. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. Adding some of the sausage that's big, maybe a little bit smaller bites. I'm going to add a little more salt to this, and then I'm going to cover this, let it cook. 
And now my pasta or my water is boiling, ready to add some of the pasta. So I'm gonna top this pasta dish with some of this Monterey Jack that I got going here. Okay, so now I'm going to leave it uncovered to cook for just a little bit, kind of cook down a little bit. What it looks like. Can I pull you out of all the steam? <laughs> this is what it's looking like over here. Um, sorry, moving you around. I'm just stirring it a little bit. So all the cheese that was in the broth have definitely released and it's kind of made this cheesy tomatoey sauce which is really nice and then we're going to top up a little more cheese so I think that'll be very good I've just been kind of breaking up some of the big chunks I should have maybe just took them out of the little sausage thing but it's all good Okay, to this, I'm going to add a handful of all these greens, and I know Charles is going to have a tantrum, but it's all right. It's good for him. So I'm just going to cook that down for a second, and then we're going to top it with some cheese. I'm gonna turn the heat off of this for right now because I'm waiting for the noodles to finish. And I'm gonna to toss this all with the noodles and then we'll top it with just a little bit of cheese. All right, the noodles are done. This burner is still hot. I'm gonna to toss all of this in with the noodles. this all together and then I'm going to top this with the Monterey Jack And that's it. I'm going to let this get all melty, cover it for just a second, and I'll call Charles down for a taste test. So here it is, all done. I'll add a little red pepper to mine, but I won't to his. And I'm going to calm down. Okay, and mine, I will do some crushed red pepper. So I love it. All right taste my creation <laughs> you know I feel like it should be so formal today is like the day of creation so put on my bow tie oh heaven's sakes quit playing with your food you're making a mess <laughs> get a little bit of all of it I'm trying and it is hot slippery noodles yeah I can see that yeah So first we were talking about making like a mac and cheese kind of thing mm -hmm. with the Monterey Jack and then I decided, eh, I'll go more Italian. So what do you think? Flavor's really good. 
at least that bite of sausage probably should have been just cut a little bit smaller, I think. Yeah, I think I should have just took it out of the sleeve all together and just like ground it in it. But, yeah. you know, you live and you learn. As far as the, the main thing is, which is flavor, I think it's great. Yeah, I did too. I'm I thought it tasted really good. Though. I told him you were wanting some pasta. Yeah. You should really make this like homemade in your, you know. My homemade pasta yeah. machine? Yeah. Yeah, you know. I've been cooking all day. It'd be, it'd be, a, fun <laughs> way, it'd be a fun way to pasta time. <laughs> all right, on that note. <laughs> Well, you know, didn't you used to make it in a pasta life? Oh, heavens. All right, folks. He loves it. <laughs> okay, you guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. Give a big thumbs up if you did. Like and subscribe. I guess like and thumbs up are the same. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Have a great day or night, wherever you are.